Get ready to build confidence, get stronger, and reach your goals. Yay, you're here. I'm so happy to see you, and I'm so glad you can make it for our live Saturday strength session. We have got a fun workout to close out week three of Bike and Bells and to help us get into the swing of week four. We have full body circuits today. So for this workout, we're going to have two, well, we'll have four total circuits. Two will be um, with the same six exercises and the last two will be the same six exercises. So for this workout, the only thing you'll need, your mat and your dumbbells. We're going to get right into our warm up, and then we'll get our workout started. If you want to start your watch, you can go ahead and do that now. And let's get into our first warm up, which is going to be high knee pull. So we're just going to pull up here reaching up nice and tall, pulling the knee up. You can feel this start to warm up the core. Hopefully your abs are feeling good after our ab session on Wednesday. That was one of my favorite ab workouts we did. I was like, oh my God, I was shaking the abs, we're feeling it. And we've got another one coming up this week too. So back to back ab sessions on Wednesday. Here's two more and then we're gonna go into bum kicks. And one, now taking the legs out wide, we're gonna march and pull the arms. Bring those heels up to the bum. I was so close to creating a new strength uh, playlist for our Saturdays and then we just had like, I was finishing up the workout and all that stuff. So again, that's in my calendar this week to do. Three more, here's two and one. Now we're gonna do cross and open the arms. One arm comes on top and then the other. You can get a little side to side movement, movement, a little back and forth movement. And we're gonna start walking it over to one side or wherever you have enough space, we're gonna walk it out to do plank walks. Good, here's two and one. So taking it up, reach nice and tall. Then we're gonna start walking it out, holding that plank and then back it up and reach. Back. Hold that plank for a second. <clears throat> Even though we're warming up, we're still working that good form. So hold it nice and strong. We're gonna walk one more out here and then we're gonna walk the legs in a little bit. Good, walk the legs in, make that high V here. And I want you to just march the legs. So drive those heels down, alternating sides. Head is just right in between your arms. Good, three more, two and one. Now both heels come down, push back into the heels of your hands, stretching out that lower body. Good. From here, drop the knees. We're gonna stretch out the wrists and forearms. So I'll face this way. So we're gonna take the hands, twist your fingertips so they're back towards your knees. You can sit your bum back here, stretching out the forearms and just rocking that back and forth a little bit, getting that stretch in. Good, two more. And here's one. Now we can flip it over, just stretching out, just gently placing the palms of your hands down on the mat, getting that stretch back and forth a little bit here. Good. Whew. And you can press it back and let's get into it. So that's our warm up. We're gonna bring it up for our first exercise. First exercise, we're gonna bring a little power into the move. We're gonna do a push press. So it's not, so we're gonna be working the shoulders, but we're gonna bring some power up through the legs. So for a push press, you may be able to go a little bit heavier than you would when we're just doing a shoulder press. So for that push press, you're just gonna be a few inches down, power up. And then as you power through, the arms are going to go along with you. So just like this. So grab some heavy dumbbells. Let's get into this for this circuit. Work timer on for 45, rest for 20 in between circuits. So we're gonna get 45 seconds of rest. So grab your dumbbells and let's go. So take your time for this, work at your own pace. Keep the weight in the heels. We're going in three, in two, and one, here we go. So down just a bit, power up. Good, exhale as you power up. Ooh. 
Keep that core engaged. We're doing vertical loading today, so that means we're gonna be working down the list of exercises, and then for that second circuit, we'll start back at the top. So each exercise, you will get two chances, but you're gonna have a nice rest in between for this exercise. 20 second rest in three, in two, and one, nice. Overhead tricep extension. I'm gonna use one dumbbell. We're gonna be up overhead, lowering down and up. This is a tough combo together, but make sure you've got something heavy for the triceps. We've got five seconds, bring it up. Here's three, two, let's go. 45 seconds, nice and slow down and press. And up, good. Keep a little gauge here on the dumbbell weight you're using for that second time through, so you know if you can go up or down or keep it the same. 15 seconds, keep it strong. Whew. Oh my goodness. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice, next exercise, wide row. So for that right, wide row, we're gonna be bent over and we're gonna be rowing out nice and wide. So grab some dumbbells for that. This is a tough, um, this is pretty tough compared to a regular row because we're taking the arms out wide. We go in three, two, let's begin. Here we go, wide row. I want you to think about going as slow here as you pull, hold, and down. So really stay in control the whole time. If you're having a hard time going slow, you may wanna consider going down just a little bit in weight. Here's 15. Don't forget to breathe. Five seconds, three, two, one. Nice job. Sumo squat with a hold and pulse. So one or two dumbbells for this. If you've got that one, it's gonna be right in the center. If you've got two, we're gonna put them up on the legs. I'm gonna use two today. So we're gonna take the feet out wide. We're gonna hold it down at the bottom and then we're gonna pulse it for five, okay? Here we go. So down, hold it, pulse it for five four, three, two, and one. Take it back up. This one, if you can follow my pace here so we can all keep together here. Five, four, three, two, and one. All the way up, press through the heels, lower it back down. Hold it here for a second. Let's pulse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Up, right back down, hold it. Let's pulse it. Five. Three, and one, bring it up. Almost there, hold it down, hold it. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one, nice. All right, now we're going into a reverse stepping lunge, or I'm sorry, a forward stepping lunge with a bicep curl. So we're gonna forward step, alter, alternating hand here with this dumbbell, curl and back. If you don't wanna do the lunges, you're gonna do a front raise, bicep curl. So th that's the modification. One dumbbell in the opposite hand, stepping forward with the opposite leg. Here we go. We're down, curl, and up, down. Next, I'm gonna show you the modification. So if you're lunging, keep it up. If you're looking for that modification, it's squeeze the quad as you lift and curl. So just like this. Really focusing on that quad right now for the lunge and the lift, and then curl. So keep it low when you curl. Whew. And squeeze. Five seconds, this is gonna be it. Here's three, 
Here's two. You got it. Nice. Only thing we're doing, switching sides. So we're just gonna go to the other side. So switch hands with your dumbbell, stepping forward with the opposite leg or modification. Lift, squeeze with that opposite leg and then curl. Grab a drink, dry off. If you need it, we go in five. That's how much time to grab a drink, dry off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Stepping down, curling up and back. And up. Squeeze, keep that arm nice and close to your body here as you do your bicep curl. So you don't want your arm going out or up. Fifteen seconds. Keep that chest up with the lunge. Five seconds. One more. Come on, let's get it in. After this, 45 seconds to rest. Whew, yes. Nice. So that was circuit one. We're getting ready to re, or not redo, we're getting ready to do it all over again for circuit two. So after this quick break, grab a drink if you need it. Same thing, we're gonna start with that push press and go through. So as I mentioned, take notes if you could go up or down with your dumbbells. Ooh. All right, push press. Let's grab our dumbbells. We've got 15 seconds. All right, eight seconds. Get into that position. Remember, not a full squat down, just some power to help you push and press. But let's begin. Here we go. Down and press. Good. Whew. Halfway. Keep it strong. Come on. Ten seconds. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Tricep overhead extension. One dumbbell for this. Well, you can use two, but you know, you've heard me say, if I use two, I always get my hair stuck, and then pulling it out, it's not fun. Less than 10, so let's get ready. Bring it up, get that form right out of the gate. We go in three, here's two, let's go. Exhale as you press up. And press. Good. Twenty seconds. Almost there. Ten seconds now. Here's three, two, and one. Nice, wide row. So grab your dumbbells for that. And remember with that wide row, think about getting your arms here parallel to the floor, your forearms pointing down towards the ground. Three seconds, two seconds, and here we go. Control the weights, squeeze shoulder blades around spine, hold it for just a second at the top. Good. Oh, this is a tough one. Make sure your back isn't rounding out or you're not arching or tilting your pelvis. So, that, or yeah, back stays flat. Think about pressing your chest down towards the ground. So that's gonna help you engage that core. Almost there. Three, two, 
and one. Nice job. All right, going into that sumo with the hold and the pulses. Now for this one, remember, try to keep with my tempo so we can stay on the same page with the pulses and the hold at the bottom. Let's take it out. We go in five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Down, hold it. Here's five, four, three, come on, two, one. Press through the heels, squeeze the inner thighs, back down. Hold it. And five, pulse it. Four, three, two, one. Take it up. Whew. Down. Let's pulse. Here's three, two, up, squeeze, down, hold it, pulse it, five, four, three, two, and one, take it up, this is going to be the last one, hold it down, hold it, we're going to pulse it for five, four, three, two, and one, nice job, lunges with the curl, if you can go up and wait, come on, this is our chance for biceps, now remember the Dumbbell's gonna be in the opposite hand for that forward stepping leg. You have the modification of the front leg lift, then the bicep curl. Three seconds. Here's two, and let's lunge it out. So forward, hold it, curl down here at the bottom of your lunge, down, press up. Squeeze, good. Keep that lunge low as you curl. And down. Ooh. 20 seconds. <sighs> 10 seconds, come on. Finish that rep out. Three, two, one. Nice. We just switch it up. So 20 second rest after this set, we're gonna get that 45 seconds. Then we're gonna move on finishing three and four with those same exercises. 10 seconds. Four seconds. Same thing, you can do the leg lift or the lunge. Let's begin. Come on, keep your focus. <sighs> Take your time, make sure you get into that low lunge, control it there, and then do the curl. So muscles are starting to fatigue now, you really have to stay focused, hold it, curl it, control it, press back. Time for one more. Come on, because this is three, this is two, and that's one. Amazing, all right. 45 seconds, breathe it out. We're getting ready to bring it onto the ground for these next few exercises. So, first exercise is going to be a kneeling pal off press. If it bothers your knees to be kneeling, definitely do this standing. Let me show you that exercise. So we'll be ready, one dumbbell. Clasp your hands around that dumbbell, right at chest level out straight and back in. That's the pal off press. Works the shoulders, but it's an awesome core workout as well. Then we're gonna do an alternating chest press on the ground, a close stance glute bridge. So that's gonna work the quads a little bit more. Heel taps, marching clap, alternating leg lowers for abs. We gotta get ready. Kneeling pal off press, bring it down. 45 seconds of work, here we go. So again, you have the option to do this standing, but you will see with kneeling, it's gonna activate the core muscles a little bit more. You really have to squeeze the glutes to keep yourself from toddling all around. I feel like a weeble people, a weeble person. You know the little weeble people? Those are years ago, but my gram had the set from when my mom was a kid. I still remember that thing. I feel like that sometimes when we're working functional training, and we're working on our balance. I feel like a little weeble person. They're so cute though. Almost there, come on, press all the way and back. 
three, two, one. Nice. Alternating chest press. So bring it down. Get your dumbbells. Roll it back. With the alternating chest press, we're gonna keep the arms up the entire time and we're gonna alternate one down and then the other. So time is up, here we go, we're working now. So alternating down and up. I'm just switching my weights. And press, keep the wrist straight. Think about driving your shoulder blades into the mat. This is one of those exercises where if you have an arch in your back when you're doing chest press, that is okay. Now, if we're doing abs, we always like to think about keeping the low back pressed in. But when we're just doing the chest press, it's okay to have that arch in your back to help you drive those shoulder blades in, give you more power to press. <sighs> Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Nice job. Now we're going into a close stance glute bridge. So bring those, so usually glute bridge would be out here. Close stance, we're bringing that in narrow. Like I can feel my heels here. This emphasizes the quads more as opposed to out here where we're working the glutes and hams a little bit more. So you can use one or two dumbbells, but get those legs or those heels nice and close to the bum. And we gotta go, here we go. Lift, squeeze. Now with this one, you don't have to focus so much on keeping the weight in your heels. You may notice you fall forward just a little bit more on the toes or a little bit more weight is towards the um, arch or the front and that's okay. And squeeze. Whew. Exhale with the lift. Here's four, three, two, and one. No dumbbells for these next few exercises. We're hitting the abs now. We're gonna work the oblique, well this is gonna work the abs and obliques. We're gonna do heel taps. So we're gonna reach for the heels. This time I want you to take your heels out a little bit farther, farther from where they were. So you really have to squeeze and reach for that heel. So take them out past the comfort zone here for this. And let's get ready, here we go. Tap it out. Take your time, really feel that squeeze here, bringing the ribs to hip, and tap. You can modify, keep your hands behind your head. Just like this. Whew, over halfway, tap it out. Come on, squeeze. Exhale with the squeeze. And one, nice. You can tuck it in for a second. We've got 20 seconds. Now we're gonna do the marching clap. So hands will be behind your head as we crunch up. We're gonna bring that leg up. Once we're up, clap it out. Whew. So that's the move. You can keep your hands behind your head the whole time and just march the legs. But if not, add the clap and let's begin. Here we go. Again, really get those shoulder blades up off of the mat. And if it feels like it's burning, I want you to get it up even more. So come on, really get it up. You're over halfway. Last 10 here. And three, in two, and one. Nice. Alternating leg lower is next. Now you can do this with a straight leg or a bent knee. But this is where we're gonna keep that low back pressed into the mat. Hands right next to your bum. We're gonna lower down and up. So the reason you don't wanna put your hands under your bum here is because your low back is not pressed into the mat. 
which means you're gonna be working hip flexors and not that lower portion there of your abs. Let's begin, here we go. So if knees are bent, you're at about a tabletop position here, 90 degrees, and you're just bringing the heels down. So brace the core to really tighten it up and then lower, press that back down and up. Ooh, this is tough. 15 seconds left. Five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job, 45 seconds. Sorry, 45 seconds to rest here. And then we're gonna start again with that pal off press kneeling or whew, on your feet standing. Grab a drink if you need it. I need to get one. I will tell you these upcoming workouts for week four. I cannot believe I'm saying week four already for biking bells. They're tough. I, I, I'm just, I'm putting that out there, but I know you're ready for it. So just get ready this for this week. 15 seconds. I will say my mom messaged me after uh, the leg day and she was like, I am so hungry today. And I want to say that's a good thing. If you are hungry after your workouts, you are doing it right. You are working, you are building the muscle. Make sure you're feeding your body the way it needs to be though. So make sure you're not, um, I know that we're kneeling, pal off press now for, I'm talking, sorry. 45 seconds, here we go. So we press it out. But I know the strength workouts can make you seriously hungry because your muscles are like, hey, we need some fuel to build up here. So don't be shy, just make sure you're eating nutritious foods to help build those back up. And press, good. Squeeze that core, tuck the hips, make sure you're not letting your back round. 10 seconds. Alternating chest press is four out. Here's three, two, good. Grab your dumbbells for alternating chest press. Let's get into position. 15 seconds. This is the final circuit. So we're counting down the exercises now. We can count all the exercises we have left on one hand. Roll it back. We go in three. Get the arms up. Alternating press. Here we go. Down with one arm and then hold it up. Other arm down. You're exhaling right here as you press that dumbbell up towards the sky. Ooh. Take a second, just look at those arms. Look at your arms right now. They are rocking it. Might be a little shaky. Down and press, good. 10 seconds. Okay, one more. Here's three, two. Nice job, all right. What are we, oh, close stance. Yeah, we're gonna need our dumbbells again. Bring those feet in, reach for those heels, make sure you feel those heels. We're gonna do that close stance glute bridge. All right, five seconds. Here's three, two, and one, let's go. Exhale when you press up, hold it for a second at the top. Halfway. Whew. We're gonna finish out with abs. Good, five seconds. Here's three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, no dumbbells from here on out, only focusing on the abs. 
So going into those heel taps first, again, you can keep your hands behind your head the entire time if you need that neck support. If not, hands behind, and then we're gonna reach and tap. Hands behind your head or not, you are trying to minimize that space right here between the ribs and hip, really contracting. Let's go, here we go. You can even try to keep those shoulder blades up and off the mat the entire time. Walk those heels out just a little bit farther so you really have to reach for it. Over halfway, keep it strong. Oh my. Five seconds, three seconds, and one. Nice, tuck it in, marching claps. 15 seconds, let me just remind you what it looks like. We're gonna bring it up and clap. So you're gonna march the legs opposite, alternating legs, clapping, or keep your hands behind your head if you need to. And here we go. Again, get that focus to get those shoulder blades up. Oh my God. Oh. Halfway. Come on, get the shoulder blades up. Exhale as you lift, 10 out, come on. Ooh. Final exercise is next. We've got three, two, and one. Alternating leg lower, straight or bent, but focus is right here, keeping that low back press in to the mat. So hands right next to your bum. Let's bring the legs up either straight or bent. Going in three, this is it. 45 seconds to the finish line. Here we go. Bracing that core, squeezing. Halfway. 20 left, come on. And you're lowering only as low as you can without letting that low back come up off of the mat. Five seconds, three, two, and one. Oh my word, you are amazing. Full body circuits getting us ready for next week. Youarethebomb.com. By the way, if you don't know what I keep talking about with bike and bells, phase one, phase two, check that out in the description. That'll be down there. We'd love for you to join us. We are gonna head over to the cycling channel now. So if you can join us for that, that's where we will be. Grab your coffee, grab whatever you might need, maybe some hydration. I'll see you over at the cycling channel. However, if you are not joining us for the cycling workout this time, make sure to grab a stretch and I'll see you for that stretch. I love ya.